One of the most famous hidden zones in vanilla World of Warcraft is Hyjal. Now, Hyjal is an interesting zone because if you look at Kalimdor, you can see there is a very large zone in the northern centered part of Kalimdor that you just can't get to. You highlight, nothing happens. However, if you go to Winterspring, you'll see Hyjal is clearly named on the map. So Blizzard had intention at some point or another of sharing the zone with people, maybe as far back as vanilla but they never did officially. Today I'm showing you how to get there through Dark Whisper Gorge. There may be other routes, but this is at least one route that I know of personally that works pretty well. To start, if you're a GM, you can just teleport to this location using the coordinates seen in the bottom left of your screen, 4590, negative 4085, 970, and 1. Or if you're looking for the coordinates for a standard player, they are roughly 5383. Once you've found your location, you can kind of get a sense of where it's at. Uh, behind us there is an opening back here that's kind of got two torches on each side and a pillar in the middle and of course the uh, Hetarine Mana Stalkers and Hetarine Initiates are over here. Uh, we're looking at this column in the center of our screen. What we need to do is find our way up there. Once you've walked up to the pillar, all you need to do is make little small jumps until you kind of land partway up the ledge. The goal is to get onto the lip of the pillar. This can take a little while. It's not too difficult, but it can take a little while. Once you've made it partway up the cliffside, make a tiny little jump onto the lip of the pillar and you're good to go. On the lip, I recommend putting the walk button on and then carefully walking around to the other side of the pillar. After reaching the other side of the pillar, you need to mount up and kind of wedge yourself between the cliffside and the pillar, and then jump forward to land in the cliffside between the two peaks near that tree. Believe it or not, you're almost in Hyjal. All you need to do now is run along the cl cliffside in the path shown in this video. There's other paths that would probably work, but this is the one that I prefer. And then we'll get to the very last step. The very last step in this process is to find this little cliff side here with that little track down the middle and make a jump landing as close as you can to the top of that little path. And just like that you find yourself in Hyjal. Now for the rest of this video. Uh, every now and then I'll interject with some of my thoughts about the scenery and what we're looking at. Otherwise, you can sit back, enjoy the view, and enjoy the music. It's worth noting here there is an invisible wall that blocks us from actually accessing what looks like a raid portal. This raid portal, there is a way to access it from the other side of the cliffs, but it doesn't go anywhere. Presumably, Blizzard had plans for a future raid instance set here in Hyjal, and as we continue our exploration, we may see more of these portals pop up. By now, you can already notice that Blizzard has put in a considerable amount of time to the development of Hyjal. This is not a barren zone, this zone is full of trees and textures and mountains and other features that we will see more and more of as we continue our journey.
Many zones in Vanilla WoW are very two-dimensional, they're very flat. If you think of Teneris, for example, it's a very flat zone. Keep an eye out on the three-dimensional aspects of Hyjal and the changes in elevation as we continue to follow this very nicely laid out stone path. Here we see our first shift in the overall textures and ambiance of the zone, moving away from the green, lush entrance to more of a dead and empty feeling. I don't know about you, but this cave is giving me a really strong Anixia's Lair vibe. Let's jump down and take a closer look. If you're keeping count, this is our second raid portal that we've seen. And this one is an interesting one. There's there's not a lot of information about Hyjal and Blizzard's original intentions for the zone, but there are rumors and things here or there that have been stated. And one possibility for this zone is that this maybe was the cave in which Illidan was chained down for 10,000 years. I don't know if I believe that personally, but we do know that his prison was under Hyjal, and so it's possible Blizzard had the foresight to put a raid portal here just in case they ever want us to enter Illidan's prison. You may notice we're about 10 minutes into this video and we still have a ways to go. Hyjal is a surprisingly large zone. We are riding on a 100% speed epic mount and it's going to take us a while to get through everything. Which especially if you look at the world map, Hyjal does not appear that large. It looks to be, to me, 
are roughly the size of Moonglade, but when you're actually in the zone, it, it feels quite a bit larger than its size on the world map. In the distance, we see our first of what will be several structures scattered throughout the zone, and we will speculate a little bit about what those structures may be as we continue on. In this section of Hydral, we see quite a few abandoned and dilapidated structures, as well as what appear to be explosion marks or scorched earth spread out, so it, it would almost appear as if a battle may have occurred here. As we approach the far northwestern corner of Hyjal, there's a really strange structure that seems to lead off a cliff here, and it's, I'm not quite sure what this was for and what relevance this has, but we'll come back to this a little bit later.
If it isn't obvious, we're essentially moving in a clockwise circle, and as we move in this circle we go almost through chambers of hydral, which with separate portions segregated out, and then within each of these little chambers, there's offshoots such as the little platform we're on right now. If you remember your Warcraft lore, there's a few key things that occurred in Hyjal that are important. At the end of Warcraft 3, the battle for Mount Hyjal occurred, in which Archimond was destroyed, and in the Cavern of Time, players relived that experience. And what you may recall from the Caverns of Time is that where we are standing right now and walking into, there's currently a giant crater in the Caverns of Time there are actually some horde buildings here. To be entirely honest, I'm not sure what caused this crater. I will say, I believe this is the largest crater in WoW up until the point that Sargeras's sword stabbed Silithus. I'm not 100% confident on that, but I'm fairly confident that that's true. However, this crater may be the aftermath of the Wisp Bomb that was used to blow up Archimonde at the end of Warcraft 3. That's the theory that I'm running with right now. We also get our first real look at Nordrasil, the world tree here. It's a little off in the distance and we'll move up closer very soon.
we just had our first full look not only at Nordrasil, the world tree, but also the corpse and bones of Archimonde. I suspect that mountain is one of, if not the highest mountain top in all of Vanilla Well. Never underestimate Blizzard's ability to stick an Easter egg in especially in places you're not supposed to be at. The narrow lake underneath Nordrasil is terrifyingly deep. Watch how long it takes us to swim to the bottom and then swim back up to the top.
You may remember the stone structure with a platform that led off of a very tall cliff. We are going to wrap up our exploration right back there. <laughs>